Sons and daughters shall be saved, shall be saved, shall be saved. Sons and daughters shall be saved in this place. Declare it. Sons and daughters shall be saved. Let me hear you refresh her. Come on. Shall be saved, shall be saved. Sons and daughters. Some of us came in here. 
here with me to hear from God tonight. Whatever, whatever it is. Hands up all over the room. Because God, we wait on you. We want to experience your glory like never before tonight. Oh, my, 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 my. I feel your glory rising now, God. Hey. Come on, I tell you to pull on heaven tonight. Get what you need tonight. Create your own altar tonight. Refresher, are you in the room? Take this moment and shift the atmosphere with your praise. Glory, 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 glory. Come on, just say it with me. Glory, 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 glory. Come on, say it with me. Glory, 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 glory. I said the train filled the temple. I said the train filled the temple. I said the train filled the temple. Glory, glory, glory. And for that reason, we want to declare how great is our God. Anybody know that we serve a great God? Come on, don't fool me. If you know he's great, make some noise in the room.
open my mouth. I commend my spirit. I commend my body. I'll praise the Lord. Whoever in there, I'll give you the glory. I'll give you the praise. I will enter in into his gates with thanksgiving. Into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. For the Lord is good. Hey. For the Lord is good. For the Lord is good. For the Lord is good. And I'll praise your Lord. I will lift my hand. I will open my mouth. Say yes to your will. I'll praise, I'll praise the Lord. Yes, I'll praise the Lord. Come on and clap your hands. Everybody clap. Everybody clap your hands. Come on, let's turn it into a praise party. Put your hands together. And shout to the Lord with a voice of triumph. You in the room, Jesus. Hey. I praise the Lord. Hey. Yes, I praise the Lord. Could your neighbor and say praise is just what I do. Come on, that neighbor didn't hear you. Don't be fooled. Don't let me all dressed up fool you. Praise is who I am. So every blessing that he pours out to you, I dare you to take this moment and return it with praise. I said every time he healed you, I dare you to take this moment Hey, I'll praise you, Jesus. In the middle of it, I'll praise you. In the middle of it, I'll praise you. What manner of man is this? What manner of man is this? Even the winds and the waves obey. Even the winds and the waves don't even the Is there any praises in the room that don't mind giving God a radical praise? You've been real good, Jesus. You've been too kind, Jesus. For me to give you a half break. Lift those hands and work. Refresher, he's here. Refresher, he's here. The king is in the room. Glory is in the room. I feel burdens being lifted even now. I see chains being broken for you and your family even now. What you've been praying for, refresh is in the room. I said, What you've been asking for, your miracle is in the room. Oh, my, 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 Jesus. Last time, release your best worship in this room. I said, release your best worship in this room. The king is in the room. Hey, the king is in the room. And he's here to meet you right where you are. I said, he's here to meet you right where you are. You ain't got 
gotta look no further, baby. Because what you need is right at your feet. What you need is on your road. Jesus. Thank you, 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 Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord, chosen vessel. And chosen vessel everywhere. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. There is definitely a sweet spirit of refreshing in the atmosphere. And we want to just keep that spirit flowing. We want to keep that spirit flowing. And thank you so much for coming to our second night of the Refresher. Our Refresher Women's Conference here at the Chosen Vessel. On a Friday night, for those who are here in the sanctuary in the rain. We are so honored to have you here with us this evening. Thank you so much for being here. We are so glad to have you here. And we want everybody to know that we are here being refreshed all weekend long. So what I want you guys to do, take out your phone, take out your cell phone. Everybody take out your cell phone. And what we're gonna do, I want you to snap a picture Take a selfie, take a group selfie, find you a friend, take a selfie and post it on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever you use. And make sure when you post it, you wanna put the hashtag, chosen vessel, refresher conference. Hashtag chosen vessel, let everybody know where you are this weekend, we are here at the vessel being refreshed. Let me, come on, snap, snap those selfies. Snap those selfies. Grab you, a, grab you a friend and snap those selfies. I, le I see a lot of smiles out there. And for everyone watching at home, post Instagram, Facebook, hashtag The Chosen Vessel. Let everybody know that you are joining us. You are streaming live, but you are being refreshed. Even though you're not here in the sanctuary, you are still here with us in spirit, being refreshed. Amen, amen, amen. We want to just keep that spirit flowing. We want to keep that spirit flowing. So just a few things. I want to make a few announcements before we move any further. After tonight's session, we want to make sure everyone goes to the back and picks up their t-shirt. Now, I don't know if you have, if you have, if you've seen the shirts, the shirts are fly, shirts are fly. So be sure to go to the back after service and pick up your shirts. And tomorrow, who's, who's going to be out here tomorrow for tomorrow's session? All right. All right. 
So make sure you join us tomorrow. If you did not register, if you did not register for tomorrow's event, now tomorrow's session is the only session that you had to register for, but if you did not register, you can join us at 1140 tomorrow. So I know we sold out, but it's okay. Pull up 1140 and join us at 1140 tomorrow. And then when that session is over, once we're refreshed after tomorrow's session, be sure to shop with our vendors. We have a lot of amazing vendors who will be with us tomorrow. So just make sure you join us tomorrow for tomorrow's, tomorrow's session. So one question, before we move any further, one question, and I think everybody in here should know the answer to that question. Do you know what time it is? It's C time here in the house. <laughs> and as our bishop always says, there are a multiplicity of ways that you can sow a seed here. If you want to give electronically, you can give via Cash App, PayPal, GiveLify, or text to give. If electronic giving is not your thing, you are more than welcome to sow a seed via cash, credit card, or you can write a check and make it payable to TCVC. For our Chosen Vessel Everywhere family streaming live, we certainly encourage you to give electronically, but if you prefer to mail a seed, you can do so by sending it to 4650 Campus Drive, Fort Worth, Texas, and we never give you the zip code because we want you to go to our social media pages, to our website, and see all of the wonderful things that we are doing here in the house that favor is building. Somebody say amen. Amen, amen, amen. If you need an envelope, if you're here in the sanctuary and you need an envelope, just wave your hands. Our brother servants are in the aisle and they will make sure that you get an envelope. And as you're preparing your seed or if you've already sown your seed electronically, we're gonna do what we always do here at the vessel. We're gonna do what we always do here at the vessel. We're gonna stand up and wave our seed. And as we're waving our seed, we're waving an increase and waving away debt. We're waving our seed because we're getting the attention of the master. We're telling him that we don't give grudgingly nor of necessity, but we are cheerful givers. We honor him with the fruit of our labor because he has honored us with the activity of our limbs. We honor him with the fruit of our labor because he has honored us with the ability to inhale and exhale. This is not a debt we do, but it's a seed we sow. And we seed into good ground, believing that God is going to give us back some 30, some 60, some 100, and even some 1,000 fold return for this seed that we're about to plant into the kingdom of God. Most importantly, we give our seed an assignment. And its assignment is to go into our future and to create avenues and streams of wealth where we increase, where we will not live off of that which we make, but we will live off of the overflow of that which we sow. And I don't know about you, but I'm expecting a harvest. It's gonna rain in my life. And from this seed, I declare and I decree that I shall never, I will never be broke not another day in my life. Everybody say hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God. So at this time, I believe our praise team is going to come again and bless us with another song. And after our praise team comes, the next voice you will hear is our dynamic speaker for this evening, Evangelist Latrice Ryan. Amen. And we are prepared to be refreshed even more this evening. God bless you.
Hey! 
you brought your praise. I hope you brought your good praise. Don't sit on my roll and not be a praiser. Don't sit on my roll and not praise God. I came here with an assignment. I came here with a mission. I came here with a mandate. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises, His praises, His praises, His praises, His praises shall continually be in my mouth. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt His name together. For they that wait upon the Lord, He shall renew your strength. We're going to mount up, 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 we're going to mount up. So don't sit on my row if you ain't going to praise God. Don't sit on my row and you're not going to bless God. Don't sit on my row. Cause we are praising Roha. This is a dancing Roha. This is a shouting Roha. This is a hollering Roha. We are loud Roha. We are noisy Roha. Cause when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me, I can't be quiet. I can't be silent. I got to open up my mouth and my soul shall make a boast in the Lord the humble shall hear thereof and be glad I will bless him I will bless him I will bless him brothers my mama told me she said when one of y'all fight all y'all fight so when one of us prays all of us go praise her you got 22 seconds to give God a praise in advance for what he's about to do in this house praise him
it's real, you don't even need them. You don't even need them. When it's real, you don't need no track. You don't need drums. You don't need instruments. When it's real, you understand I brought my own sound. I brought my own, I am the instrument. I brought my own praise. I am an instrument. When it's real, he shook up a I ain't got the kind of praise I got to hold a church to give God glory. I go in at Walmart. I go in at Kroger. I go in at the grocery store. I put a praise wherever I am. Bless him, bless him, bless him. you'll ever be. You won't see this kind of low again. This is the brokest you'll ever be. This is the sickest you'll ever be. This is the lowest you'll ever be. You got 18 seconds. Give God. Give him glory. This is the lowest I'll ever be. You better praise him over there. I like praise him. Jesus, we thank God 
for Jesus. Come on, come on, come on. We bless God for Jesus. Come on, that's a good place to go in right there. We bless God for Jesus. Thank God for the greatest bishop in the entire universe. Come on, let's thank God for bishop in his absence. Thank God for our man of God. Thank God for the ministerial staff. Uh, the leadership of Chosen Vessel. Come on, let's thank God for the leadership of Chosen Vessel. Hallelujah. Thank God for the person sitting beside you. Come on, come on. Thank God for the person sitting beside you. Yeah, I really thank God for you. I give God glory for my own husband. I thank God, I thank God, I thank God, I thank God. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. We bless him, we bless him, we bless him. By the end of this conference, you're going to be able to say, okay, it makes sense now. I understand why I had to go through what I went through. I understand why it was as hard as it was. Come on here, somebody. You'll be able to say there's going to be some light bulbs clicking off. Things are getting ready to come together. You'll be able to say, okay, I see why it makes sense now. It makes sense now. Because if I had known what I was getting ready to walk through, I see why the devil was trying to stop me with everything he had. If I had seen. <laughs> so it's about to make sense. It's about to make sense. In Jesus' name. I thank God for my husband. I say this everywhere I go. He's the butter on my popcorn, the sugar to my Kool-Aid, the cherry to my hot fudge, son to my baby daddy, my big daddy, my boyfriend for life. I love me some Derek Ryan. We have seven children and 11 honey babies. Those are my grandchildren. My children range in age from 33 to 12. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how that 12 year old get here. I'll be looking at him like, little boy, where you come from? But uh, that's my baby and I love him. There's a word from the Lord and I am ready to preach. Let's go. Uh, Deuteronomy, the 11th chapter, beginning with verse 10. We're going to go down to verse 12. I'm going to read it from the easy version of the Bible. Y'all know what to do. Y'all doing it already because I'm a little old school and I believe in slip stockings. Hallelujah. Foundation. Stockings in the summertime. Lips in the summertime. <laughs> yeah, glory to God. Let's go. Deuteronomy the 11th chapter, beginning with verse 10. I want to read it from the easy version of the Bible. We ain't going to read it from the struggle version of the Bible. We're going to read it from the easy version of the Bible. Y'all keep on reading the struggle Bible if y'all want to, but I ain't reading the struggle Bible, no. I'm reading the easy version, glory to God. Let's go. And the Bible says, the land you are going into is not like the land of Egypt where you lived before. There you planted seed. You had to take water to them. It was like a garden where you grow vegetables. But the land you are going across the Jordan River into, it's a different kind of land. Look at somebody and tell them, I'm going into a different kind of land. I'm getting ready to breathe some different kind of air. I'm getting ready to put my feet on some different kind of sand in Jesus' name. I'm tired of this same old ground. I need to put my feet in some different kind. <laughs> it has hills and valleys. Rain falls from the sky and makes the ground wet. The Lord, your God, takes care of the land there. He watches over it every day through the whole year and the word of the Lord is blessed make sure you got the right somebody that's gonna help you praise that's gonna help you shout that's gonna help make sure you got you somebody that can match your praise that can praise better and louder than you can if your neighbor don't shout elbow them but if your neighbor do shout both of y'all be dead free by the end of the year Shout like every student loan, shout like every credit card bill, medical bill. Shout like you got a zero balance, shout like you got a cash anointing on your life. I'm paying for my next purchase in cash. Shout like you got a paid in full anointing. Open up your mouth and shout. Look at your neighbor, shout neighbor. You are a record breaker. 
that was the wrong neighbor she want to stay average find you somebody else look at them real good and shout neighbor you are a record breaker you are a record breaker record breaker record breaker breaker break it break it break it you are born to break records you are born to break records open up your mouth and shout Let's go, be seated for four seconds, let's go. The Lord told me at the beginning of the year, I feel Jesus. <laughs> the Lord told me at the beginning of the year, and understand something, y'all, when we read the book of Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy literally means to say again, it means to repeat, it means to say again a second time. So as we are uh, uh, approaching and embarking on the middle of the year, sometimes we need a reminder that God's word has not changed. Sometimes we need a reminder that God said what he said. He meant what he said. His word does not change. His word will not return unto him void. I need some Bible readers up in here. Is there anybody in here other than me? You know you still holding on to the word that God gave you at the beginning of holding on to my word and so God told me this year he said Tracy tell my people that you are in your Jordan year somebody prophesy over your life I'm in my Jordan year understand when we mention Jordan Jordan has absolutely nothing to do with a particular basketball player who arguably is probably one of the best uh, 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 basketball players to ever lace up shoes and go on a basketball court but when we look at the Jordan River symbolically in the Bible the Jordan River represents a freedom that comes after a season of long adversity and unusual waiting let me say that again the Jordan River represents freedom that comes after a season of unusual waiting and adversity symbolically speaking the Jordan River marks the end of a transitional season I don't know who I came here for I only know by the way you shout God told me to tell you that your season of transition has come to an end that season of transition where you moving in don't know where you going transition is when you in two places at the same time transition is when you got it and you ain't got it all at the same time transition is when God prophesied a word over your life but your life does not look like your prophecy is there anybody in here other than me God prophesied something over your life but when I start taking an inventory of my life my life does not look like what God said God told me to tell you that things are about to come together your life is about to look like your prophecy now you can't shout right there if you ain't got a word over your head but for the 23 praisers in here my life is about to look like my prophecy Jordan represents the end of a transitional season. Here it is, y'all. The Bible says in Ezekiel 12 and 28 from the free version of the Bible. The Bible says, so tell them this is what the Lord God says. Everything I've said is about to happen. Shut up talking to me. Everything I've said is about to happen. There won't be any more delay, declares the Lord thy God. And so for my 23 praisers right here, what was delayed is about to be delivered. I prophesy an on-time arrival of your miracle. No more delays, no more stalls, no more being put off, no more being looked over. Over, no more being put aside the devil is alive this is your time and your season to break some records and what was delayed is about to show up at your doorstep hey. this <laughs> What was the latest about to be delivered? The Bible says uh, in Jeremiah 1 and 12 uh, from the King James, the New King James Version of the Bible. The Bible says, uh, then the Lord said to me, you have seen well, for I am ready to perform. 
perform my word. Here it is, y'all. God says this is no longer a rehearsal, but there's about to be a performance. What is a performance? A performance is the execution of an action. A performance means that something has been accomplished. Performance means that the fulfillment of a promise. Another word for performance is achievement. Another word for performance is fruition. Another word for performance is follow through. Another word for performance is carried out, not left undone. I came for some refreshers in here tonight that God says this is not not a dress rehearsal but my God the curtain is about to go up and you got a front row seat to this performance God is about to perform miracles in your life think it not strange that when you went to the doctor last week you go back next week and what they saw last week they don't see next week because there's about to be a performance of some miracles think it not strange when that child who's living like they want to go to hell all of a sudden they get their right mind back because God says it's no longer a rehearsal it's about to be a performance I prophesied of 23 praises in here that you getting ready to run smack dab into a performance blessed is she who believed for there shall be a performance of his word Be seated three seconds. We almost there. Yeah, there's about to be a performance for the next 12 months. God says you are untouchable and unstoppable. For the next 12 months, you are untouchable and you are unstoppable. Here it is. I got Bible. The Bible says in Acts, the fifth chapter, verse 38, the Bible says, and, 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 and the Bible says, and, and so now I tell you, stay away from these men. Leave them alone. Leave her alone. Leave her. Put your word, your name in the scripture. So the God says, stay away from her and leave her alone. Lord, y'all still don't know when to get happy up in here. Uh -huh. God, whoever was bothering you, whatever was bothering you, got to leave you alone. Whoever was trying to choke you out, make you give up and miss your moment in God. God says leave them alone. Whoever was trying to sabotage your work, sabotage your future, sabotage your destiny, God says leave her alone. <laughs> and so now I tell you, stay away from these men. Leave them alone. If their plan is something they thought up, it's going to fail. But Acts, Acts 5 and 39 says, but if it is from God, you will not be able to stop them. Or you might even be fighting against God himself. For the next 12 months, they can't bother you and they cannot block you. Lord, have mercy. Whatever what the devil was going to do, he should have did it before tonight. Whatever move he was going to pull, he should have did it before tonight. If the enemy couldn't kill your child he can't kill him now he should have did it before the night because they can't bother you and they cannot block you <laughs> oh uh, the jordan represents a, a turning point on the way to freedom the jordan represents a turning point mm on the way to freedom. The Bible says in Joshua 1, verse 10 and 11 from the message version of the Bible. The Bible says, then Joshua gave orders to the people's leader, go through the camp and give these folk the order. Don't y'all tear this church up, act like you got some sense when I read the rest of this Bible. The Bible says, hey God, get this order to the refreshers. Uh -huh. Go through the camp and tell every refresher, pack your bag. Y'all acting a little slow right there. God says, tell every refresher, pack 
your bags. Y'all still don't know when to shout. God said, tell every woman of God in here, go get the boxes, go get the tape, go get the tape gun, fill out the address or change of address form, pack your bag. Why, 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 why? Here it is. The Bible says in three days you gonna cross this Jordan River to enter and take the land your God is giving you to possess. For 23 praisers right here, God says you are going from transition to a trailblazer. You are going from transition to not knowing where you going to setting the path on fire. Y'all don't know when to shout. See a trailblazer is the first person to do something. They are the first person to go somewhere. They are the first ones that gives proof to other people that what I am doing is possible. Y'all still don't know when to shout. See, for many of us in here, God allowed you to be the first. You had to clear out the path. You had to take a hit. You had to do the heavy lifting. You had to do all the clearing. You had to do all the crying because you understood something you may be the first but you will not be the last because you creating a path for somebody that's coming up behind you now see that's when your neighbor should have went up in a praise because when God is doing in my life I'm going to leave a trail for you I'm not going to leave you in the dark I'm not going to leave you in the wilderness when God bring me up I'm going to pull you up too I came to prophesy to 18 mothers you may be the first but you ain't seen what your daughter gonna do. You may be the first, but you have no idea what your son gonna do. Eye hasn't seen. Ear hasn't heard. Neither has it entered. <laughs> so I cried so my baby can laugh. I crawled so my daughter could run. Y'all still don't know when to shout. I got it out the mud so that my children ain't gonna have to get it out the mud. I came for some women of God that's getting ready to set up a generational legacy. This all ain't going in with you. You will not be a one hit wonder. You will not be a one time deal. But when you resting in the arms of Jesus, your child gonna be down here setting it on fire. Open up your mouth. record breaker you are a record breaker I'm in my text now let's go two and a half more seconds and I'm done here it is. When the Bible looks at the, we look at the text. Moses is preparing the children of Israel. Yeah, God, he's preparing the children of Israel. He's like, you know what, y'all? Let me, let me, let me prepare y'all. And I, I, I've done everything that I, that I'm supposed to do. I fulfilled my divine assignment. But I got to give y'all one more reminder. Mm. See, understand what a refresher is. A refresher is a reminder. A refresher. Mm -hmm, it really is a reminder. A refresher is because sometimes you have to go back and repeat a thing because you forgot it the last time. Oh, God. Sometimes you have to go back and reinforce a thing that was forgotten about last time. And so here it is. Moses is letting the children of Israel know. He's like, look here, y'all. Y'all, when y'all get to your blessed place, you cannot get to your blessed place and still have the mentality of a prisoner. He tells them, he said, he tells them this, where the land that y'all are going into is not going to look like the land of Egypt where y'all just walked out of. Lord have mercy. Where you are going will not look like what you're walking, what you just walked out of. Where you are walking into will not look like what you just walked out of. I got to say that again. Where I am going to will not look like what I just came out of. And so understand just because your geographical location changes. If your mind don't change, then you gonna remain the same. So let this mind be in me. Be therefore transformed by the renewing of your 
uh-huh. So he lets them know when you get to your promise, you cannot have the mentality of a prisoner. And when you get to your promise, you cannot have a poverty mentality. This is something that I teach my children, my spiritual children and my natural children. I teach them this. I say, I can't leave y'all my mantle and you not have my mentality. I can't leave you my money and you not have my mentality. Because if I leave you my money and don't give you my mentality, my money going to mess you up. If I leave you my mantle and don't leave you my mentality, my mantle going to mess you up. Because the very thing that should be your inheritance, if you ain't got the right mentality, you will, it will hurt you, it will kill you, it will do more harm for you because you ain't got the right mentality. So before I leave you any kind of money, let me put my mind in you. <laughs> and so understand some y'all a poverty mentality will kill your promise poverty's record breakers we are not dominated by poverty Poverty, let me explain what poverty is. Poverty is not the absence of money. It is not the absence of resources. Poverty is the absence of revelation. Poverty is the absence of revelation. Information and revelation are not the same, y'all. Information and revelation are not synonymous words. We are living in a culture now where we are drowning with so much information. But we got all this information, but we still don't know nothing. We got all this information and we still can't think. We got all this information and we still don't know who God is. Uh-huh. Jesus said in Matthew 22 and 29 from the free version of the Bible, Jesus said, your mistake is that you don't know scripture or you don't know what God can do. The absence of revelation is when we don't know what God's word is and when we don't know who the character of God is. Uh-huh. But when you are a record breaker, you think like this. If I can read it in his word, I can see it in my life. Is is there anybody in here other than me that understand this Bible is not a book of fairy tales? This Bible is not a book of campfire stories. Ah, but if I can read it in the word, I can see it in my life. That's what revelation is. Thy word have I hidden in my heart that I will not. That's what revelation is. That when I get into a bind, I don't start cussing and fussing. I begin to turn up that word that's on the inside of me because if I can read it in his word I can see it in my life hey. revelation of poverty is the absence of reverence mm. Revel poverty is the absence of reverence. Poverty can't give nobody a compliment. Poverty can't give nobody the credit. Poverty only says that I did this and I did that. Y'all don't know when to shout up in here. But when you are a record breaker, you understand that everything I got, God gave it to me. Who I am, God made me. Where I go, God brought me. You can't take my seat because you didn't give me this seat. God gave it to me and God is the only one that can take it. Y'all don't know when to shout. See, when you are a record breaker, you understand I don't let nothing that I wear, can't no clothes, keep me from blessing God. Can't no shoes, stop me from blessing God. I have to try on my clothes and shoes and make sure they praiseworthy. Make sure I can roll around in the flow in them. Make sure I can get dirty in them. Y'all don't want to have no church. I don't ever want to be too cute that I can't bless God. I don't ever want to be too put together that I can't give God glory. Baby, you don't know like I know. I was shouting a $3,000 dress. I was shouting a 30 cent dress. Because every time I turn around, God is doing so great. And I got to get, I give God the glory, I give God the credit, I give God the honor. He is the one that brought me here. He is the one that's keeping me. He is the one that's elevating me. I still don't know how, how he chose me, why he chose me, but I'm so glad that he did. Poverty is the fruit 
of rejection. Poverty is the fruit mm, of rejection. Uh, poverty is so insecure. Poverty is so intimidated. Poverty can have on designer labels and still look cheap. Poverty can have on couture and still just look cheap. Lord have mercy. We saw uh, the movie Air, the story Air, uh, uh, that, that gave the backstory of the Michael Jordan shoe, right? Viola Davis was in the movie, and she played Michael Jordan's mother, Dolores uh, Jordan. And, 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 and somebody told, she was on the phone with someone, they said, well, it's just a shoe. And she said, no, it ain't just a shoe. She said, it's just a shoe until my son get in it. It's just a shoe until my son steps into it. Because when my baby step into it, it is no longer just a shoe. Y'all still don't know when to shout. See, when you are a record breaker, the only reason why that job ain't went under is because you keep showing up. You keep clocking in. The only reason why that organization ain't turned upside down is because you keep showing up. Because it's just a job until you clock in. It's just a position until you get in it it's just a dress until I step in it it's just some shoes until I get in it hey your record breaker here it is well I was at three two seconds we almost there y'all Bible says hey I feel God Bible says but the land you are going across the Jordan, Deuteronomy 11 and 11, the Bible said, the land you're going across the Jordan is, oh, it, it's, it's, it has hills, hills and valleys. Rain falls from the sky and makes the ground wet. Record breakers, get ready, refreshers, because over the next 12 months, everything you need will be supernaturally supplied. I know I talk fast, let me slow that down. I said over the next 12 months, everything you need will be supernaturally supplied. I, I know I talk fast, I do. Let me slow it down a little bit. Look. Everything you need will be supernatural. Your math ain't God's math. Everything you need will be supernaturally supplied. God says, women of God, get ready. You're about to live a shalom life. Nothing broken, nothing missing, and nothing lacking. Let me say that again. You are getting ready to live a shalom life where there's nothing broken, nothing missing, and nothing lacking. Here it is, y'all. I got Bible. The Bible Bible says in Philippians 4 and 18 from the message version of the Bible the Bible says and now I have it all and keep getting more y'all don't know when to get happy the Bible says and now I have it all and keep get ooh, and now I have it all and keep you better get ready, refreshers, because God is about to make you a distribution center. You hear God. God says, I have anointed you to make somebody's dreams come true. I have anointed you. You're going to make dreams come true. You're going to birth out kings. You're going to be an angel investor. Now, y'all can't shout right there if you got a stingy heart. But for the 18 refreshers in here who understand I'm kingdom and a record breaker, it don't matter who gets the credit as long as God get the glory I'm getting ready to help my whole row I don't know what the score is but my whole team winning open up your mouth everything you need will be supernaturally supplied watch this y'all it's gonna be your vision but somebody else's money watch this y'all whatever you need it's gonna pay for itself and pay you at the same time whatever you need gonna make money for you and pay you at the same time the oil that's on your life and the flow that's on your life 
will last throughout generations. I prophesy a passive income, residual income, automated income, scaling income, record breaking, ground breaking, limit shattering. Whatever your last high was, it's your new low. Y'all don't know when to shout. The sky is not the limit. The sky the first stop. Open up your mouth because you are a record. Let me pull this thing together and bag on up out of here. Here it is. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> here it is. I, when, I, when I first put this message together, I was getting ready to title it that this is your record-breaking season. But God said, uh-uh, don't tell them that. This ain't no record-breaking season. You are the record-breaker. Lord, have mercy. Because no matter what season you in, who you are will not change. It don't matter if you're going through the valley, you're still a record breaker. It don't matter if you're on the mountaintop, you're still a record breaker. This is not a season. This is who you are. And I came to remind you that you are not your past. You are not your mistake. You are not your failure. You are not what the devil says. But you're everything that God says y'all don't know when to get happy grab you another woman of God grab her by her hand shake her hand up real good and shout neighbor 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 every time I shake your hand I'm shaking off depression I'm shaking off low self-esteem I'm shaking off anxiety I'm shaking worry off I'm shaking fear off you ain't got time to be scared you got too much to do God said you got a dream that's all on your life there's an assignment in your hand and you got to do what God has called you to do get up out your seat get ready to take the land get ready to drive the block get ready to go forward you've been cleared for takeoff you've been cleared to go higher you've been cleared to stretch out you've been cleared to go deeper in the name of Jesus go touch three people and shout you are a record breaker record breaker record breaker record breaker come on in God you're a record breaker get ready for your income to increase credit score increase soul saving increase your mantle will increase in the name of Jesus whatever you did on last year you're getting ready to do more this year whatever you did on last year you gonna make more this year so bye bye trouble bye bye poverty bye bye depression bye bye low self esteem you should have killed me you should have took me out before I found out that I'm a record breaker and now that I know who I am now that I know what God put on the inside of me I'm getting ready to go down to the enemy's camp and take back everything that he stole from me give me back my joy give me back my peace give me back my mind give me back my strength give me back my fire the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence and the violence take it by force go and kick some doors down kick down the gates we coming to take over there's a new sheriff in town ain't no witch can't no warlock run me off of where God has planted me no weapon no voodoo no hoodoo no witchcraft shall be able to stop me why cause I'm a record breaker y'all don't know when to shout Grab your neighbor, grab them by the hand, shake that neighbor, shake
shake them up good. Shake up the oil on their life. Shake up their destiny. Shake up their fire. And shout, neighbor, that's not me shaking you. But that's the Holy Ghost. That's the Holy Ghost bringing you out. That's the Holy Ghost turning you around. Lady. The midnight hour, God will, God will, God will, he'll turn it around, it's got to work in your favor, get ready for exceedingly, abundantly, above all, exceedingly, abundantly, above all, I could ask or think, according to the power, that worketh within us, go higher, go deeper. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll feel no evil, cause I'm a record breaker. A thousand may fall at thy side, thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh my dwelling. I'm a record breaker. He that keepeth Israel neither slumber nor sleep. Why? Cause I'm a record breaker. I'm a record breaker. I'm a record breaker. I'm a record breaker. Shout it Yes. 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 Shout it Everything that's trying to keep her down, it's going to break in the name of Jesus. Everything that tried to keep her stuck, everything that tried to torment her mind, disrupt her peace, God breaks it in the name of Jesus. You ain't going to drop this one. You ain't going to fail this time. You ain't going to stumble this time. You will not be embarrassed this time. When I count to three, you're going to pray for that hand that you're holding. And everything with the enemy, they ain't going to be running around here empty. God, get ready to refill them. God, get ready to recharge them. God, get ready to bring her back up. In the name of Jesus, get ready, get ready. You get ready to pray for that hand. You get ready to pray for that sister. You're not going to run around here on empty. You're not going to run around here depleted. You won't run around here exhausted. God is about to give you back your strength. One! God, get ready to give you back your mind. God, get ready to give you back your strength. God, get ready to give you back your fire. God, get ready to give you back your joy. Two! Never should have messed with your children. Never should have came for your family. Never should have came for your mind. Depression got to go. One, two, three, press in for that neighbor. Pray for that neighbor. Pray for that neighbor. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Press in for her. That's it. Press in for her. Press in for her. Go in. I 
I won't let you give up. I won't let you quit. There's too much on the line. Too much on the line. Too much on the line. God, give you back your mind. God, give you back your mind. God, give you back your... God, give you back your strength. God, give it back to you. God, give it back to you. You ain't going to pray for everybody else and God not come through for you. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Come on, Shatter to the Come on, Zion. Shatter. 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 God, do it. Do it in our mind. God, 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 do it in our mind. Do it in our mind, God. Do it in a mind, God. Give her back a piece. Give her back a piece. Give her a shock of a hook. There it is. 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 Come on, Zion. 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 Press in for, press in for, press in for, press in for. Every yoke be destroyed, every burden be broken. Brand new, brand new popsicle, brand new fire, brand new fire, brand new boldness. You won't miss, you won't miss more accuracy. In the realm of the spirit, in the name of Jesus. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. More fire. More fire. More fire. Shadow. More fire. More fire. Come on, Shaka. Come on, come on, shake up. God, I need you. God, I got to have you. I give you another yes. I give you another yes. I give you another yes. Another yes. I give you another yes. 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 Another yes, I feel you. Another yes. Another yes. Give him another yes. Come on up a little higher. Come on up a little deeper. Come on, refreshers. We got to go higher. We got to. We got to go higher. Shovel. Rabbi Shire. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Another yes, have a show. Another yes, her Another yes. Another yes. Another yes. Another yes. Another yes, her Another yes, have Another yes. Another yes. Another yes. Come on, Zion. Another yes. Another yes. Another yes, her Another yes. Another yes. Another yes, fire shovel, hope I shut up, hope I attire, hope I attire, hope I shut up, rap I shut up, rap I shut up, rap I shut up, come on, come on, open up your mouth, open up your mouth, open up your mouth. I know you ain't getting scared now. We got more to do. We got more to do. We got more to do. We got more. We got more. Sure. Oh, sure. Oh. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Right here, come on, Zion. Come on, Shetoba. Rabba Shakoba. Bashakoba. 
Shaka. Rabba Shaka. That whole row, come here. That whole row, shut up a hole. That whole row, come on, shut up a hole. Rabba Shaka. Come on, Zion. Open up your mouth. Open up your shoko. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth, open up your mouth, give God a yes, I feel him, I feel him, I feel him, give God a yes, give God another fire, give God another fire, I want to go deeper, I want to go deeper, I can't stay here, I can't stay in this place, I can't stay on this level, I got to go higher, open up your mouth, shout yes, shout yes. Shout yes, you. Shout yes. Shout yes. Shout yes. Shout yes. Hold on, come on, come on, shake. Shout yes. Shout yes. Shout yes. Hold on, come on, come on, shake it. More, 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 more. Open up your mouth. Let's go. 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 Every, every void, every weak place, every wounded place, God, heal, 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 feel. In the name, you get your joy back. Joy comes. Your fire. They get up and go. Your strength. In the name of Jesus. You caught your breath. Now it's time for you to get up and get going. It's more for you to do. This ain't it, baby. This ain't it. It's more for you to do. More, more. The half has not been told. There's more, 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 more. And you ready? 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 Somebody bless God like this, your daughter. Bless God like this, your baby. Shout, I am a record breaker. Yeah, that's 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 who I am. That's 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 who I am. Who 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 that's who that's that's who I am. 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 Change my change your name on Facebook. Change your name on your profile. Put in the in the in the, in the uh, parentheses. Record breaker. That's who you are now. That's who you are now. That's who you are. Oh, I can't hear nobody up in here. That's who you are now. That's who you. Come on here. I need somebody that's gonna get excited for your friend. 
Come on, look at your friend. Tell your friend that's who you are now. You're a record breaker. That's who you are. Come on, tell your hey, shall your boss talk over. Tell your friend that's who you are. Oh. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Give me a stack of envelopes. I gotta go. Give me a stack of envelopes. Give me a stack of envelopes. I gotta go. I gotta go. Like really quickly. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Running in her, I love that. I love that. I'm a record breaker. Somebody shout, I'm a record breaker. Uh huh. That's who I am. I'm a record breaker. <laughs> I'm getting ready to see more. Oh wait. You get ready to see more over the next six months that you've seen over the last six months. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hold up. God said you get ready to see more over the next six months than you've seen in the last six years. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> what would your praise look like if God did more for you over the next six months than you have seen in the last six years? What would your praise, oh, that's all you got right there. That's all you got right there. That's all you got right there. That's all you got. That's all you got. That's all you got. That's all you got. Hey, that's all you got. That can't be all you got. <laughs> see more. Thank you, Lord. You're gonna see more over the next six months than you've seen in the last six years. Thank you, Lord. God, I love that. God, I love you. God, I love you. God, I love you. Watch this. The Lord deals with me with just in, in one number. One number. The Lord deals with me in this one number. And every time I sow this one number, every time I declare, shout out to people to God, to sow this one number, this one number, God does supernatural miracles. I, I, ain't, I have no explanation for it. I can't explain it. I just keep following God. It works, and I keep on doing it. One thing about it, when you know, when you know God, that, that whatever God shows you and God told you to do and it works, why would you stop doing it? So everybody in here, I'm the first one. I'm sewing one, 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 one hundred and eleven dollars. Everybody in here, everybody online, put the ways to sew on the screen right now. I'm the first one because I got stuff on the altar. Watch this, y'all. Here's what the, here's here's what's attached to the seed. You getting ready to do something you've never done before. You getting ready to do something you've never done before. You getting ready to see something you've never seen before, and you getting ready to have something you've never had before. You're getting ready to do something you've never done before. You're getting ready to see something you've never seen before. And you're getting ready to have something you've never had before. It's, it's a season of first. One, one, one. I'm about to walk in a room I ain't never walked in before. Hold on. I'm about to walk in a room I've never walked in before. But when I walk in there, they need what I got. If you are so weak, that 111, whether you're sewing by credit card, whether you're sewing electronically or by cash or whatever, get an envelope from me right now. Come, come, get an envelope. $111, get an envelope from me. $111, get an envelope from me right now. Get an envelope from me right now. Go by side, 111, $111.
glory to God. Get ready. That sounds very cliche-ish. It's coming sooner than you think. It's already here. There's going to be a very, very, very small window of opportunity. Don't second guess it. When that opportunity, when that door opens up, you run through it. And you run through it fast. You run through it quickly. God said, I've been, I've been preparing you for this. I've been preparing you. Seems like he's been preparing you for this for the last five years. And he's been preparing you to walk through this door. The nations will know who you are, what you carry, what your sound is, what's in your hand. God has blessed the work of your hands. God has blessed your mind. God has blessed you administratively. God has favored and he's showered and he's opened it up. And scribe anointed, anointed to build, anointed to design, to design, anointed to bring forth. You are created to create in the name of Jesus. Your creativity is going to go into a different dimension in the name of Jesus. The Lord says, I have made room for you to have more. Get ready, woman of God. more will not be hard. This more will not be a, 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 a chore. This more, oh God, it's going to be so easy. It's going to be so easy. It's going to be easier than you thought. In the name of Jesus, do you mind if I lay hands on you? Everybody point your hands this way. When I count to three, hey God, you're going to shout yes and you're going to shout yes as loud as you can and everybody in here going to help you shout yes. Every no has just been turned into a yes. In the name of Jesus, every blockage and every hindrance has been removed in the name of Jesus. One, two, three, shout yes. Shout yes like this, your sister. Shout yes like this, your best friend. Shout yes like this, your daughter. Open up your mouth and shout yes. it is so ha it's gonna be easier than you thought it's gonna be easier than you thought <laughs> glory to God Dennis we're so glad to have you it's gonna be easier than you thought lift up your hands the enemy has lost another one says I have not forgotten about you healing you in the name of Jesus from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet in the name of the blood of Jesus covers you the blood of Jesus covers your mind the blood of Jesus covers the blood of Jesus covers your thoughts cover your heart in the name of Jesus, every heaviness got lifted up. Lumbasa, in the name of Jesus, we break every generational curse. In the name of Jesus, when I count to three, everybody in here gonna shout yes as loud as you can. God, get ready to set her free. You'll never go back. You gonna shout yes as loud as you can and everybody in here gonna help you shout yes. You'll never go back. You'll never be that again. You'll never do that. What they said is a lie. In the name of Jesus, one, two, three, shout yes! Yeah!
church, Hachapobata. Come, this is what we came here for. This is what we came here for. This is what we came here to do. We came to take back our daughters. We came to take back their mind. We came to travail. We came to tarry. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Every generational curse. Every bloodline curse. Wherever her name is. On every demonic altar. We call down the fire of God. We call down the blood of Jesus. Break every chain. Break every yoke. Heal right now. Deliver right now. Every word curse. Every kitchen curse. The blood of Jesus is against you now. Loose your grip and loose your hold. We call down the fire of God. Fire of God. Come on, women. Come on, Zion. Intercede in prayer. The fire of God. Cover this young woman. The fire of God. Break every chain. The blood of Jesus over her mind. Suicide can't have her. Dominion can't have her. Demon can't have her. Over her mind. Every chain over her mind. We drive it out in the name of Jesus. Come on, Zion. The blood, the blood. 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 The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Cover our young women. The blood of Jesus. Cover their bodies. The blood of Jesus. Cover their minds against new age doctrine. The blood of Jesus. Cover them right now. We break every curse. We call down the blood. We call down the fire. On every word curse. We drive out spiritual wickedness in high places. We drive it out in the name of Jesus. We demand it. We demolish every demonic confederacy, every demonic allegiance. In the name of Jesus, we surround her with angels on divine assignment to keep her mind. Don't let her go back. Don't let her fall back. We come against it now. We close every door. Come on, Zion. I need y'all praying. We close every door. Close every window. Jesus Christ is Lord over her soul. Jesus Christ is Lord over her mind. Loose her and let her go. Take your hands off her. Loose her and let her go. You can't have her. Loose her and let her go. You can't stop her. She shall live. We call down life. Life more abundantly. The abundant life. In the name of Jesus. She shall live and not die to declare the works of the Lord. Come on, Zion. Intercede for her. Intercede for her. We call for victory. We call for victory. We call for victory. We call for victory. Open up your mouth. Give God a shout. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. This is a 911. This is a 911. This is a 911. Open up your mouth. interrupt the service y'all can't I can't hear nobody up in here if it were you if it were your child you would want somebody to be sensitive enough to what's going on in the atmosphere to take authority over I can't 
ain't hit nobody up in here. If it was your baby, you would want somebody to say, not on my watch. You would want somebody to say, not up in here. I need some women of God that's about to take back authority, take back your power, take back dominion, and shout, not on my watch, not up in here. See that I'm used to Friday night church like that. I'm, that's the kind of Friday night church I'm used to. I'm used to Friday night church. Oh my shit, kobobo shoto. I'm used to he ba 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 shit, kobobo. Who shot to 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 kobobo shoto? He said, I'm sowing on behalf of her. Is there anybody else in here who's sowing the 111 and you don't have an envelope already? Come get an envelope from me right now. You don't have an envelope already.
Put your device in your hand. Put your one, 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 or your best. Whatever your best is. You say, I ain't got one more, but I got close to it as I can. Get in your hand. I feel God. I feel God. I feel God. address because your address is about to change. All right? So when I count to three, you're going to call out your current address. It's about to be your forwarding address because your address is about to change. One, two, three, call out your address. Everybody with your last name is about to reap a harvest because of your obedience tonight. Simply because you obey God. Everybody with your last name is about to reap a harvest. You ready? One, two, three, call out your last name. Everybody with my last name gonna be blessed because I'm sowing tonight. Everybody with my last name gonna reap a miracle, a miracle because I'm sowing tonight. Everybody with my last name. Everybody with my last name. Everybody with my last name. Everybody with my last name.
seed. You're gonna when you sow your seed, you put your envelope in or your, your your phone or whatever. If you fill this out, that's fine too. You're gonna shout now. Alright? Look at me. You're gonna shout now. You're gonna make a point of contact with your device or whatever have you doing. Shout now. Go back to your seat, praising God. Like you know your miracle about to show up at your house in three days. You got me? You got me? Coming from every direction, from everywhere. So you'll see, shout now. Go back to your seat, praising God. Like you know your miracle. About to show up at your house. Shout now, shout now. Now you gotta go back to your seat, praising God. Now you just can't walk back. You gotta go back, praising God. You gotta go back, blessing God. You gotta go back. You gotta go back praising him. You gotta go back praising him. You gotta go back with expectation. Go back blessing him. Go back praising God. Like you know a miracle is getting ready to happen.
said, we got to get out of here. My God. <laughs> My God. Listen, if you did not bring your envelope down, you can bring them down. Hey, good God Almighty. Is there any women in the house that feel refreshed tonight? Listen, I want you to take that praise home with you. We do not dismiss during these times. But listen, before you leave, if you have registered, we want to see you in the morning. Everybody shout, in the morning. If you registered, I just need to hear you scream one good time. If you register, make sure you go to the back and get your shirts on your way out. Make sure you go get your shirts and we will see you in the morning. Check-in starts and brunch starts in the morning at 8.45. I want to see you. If you did not register, you can come to the 11.40 service that starts tomorrow, 11.40, if you did not register. I need you to do me a favor, do yourself a favor. As we are leaving this place, why don't you take that praise with your home, and we'll see you tomorrow.